Okay, sisters fans, now we're going to talk about Danny because the video I did, um, you know, which was like four seconds long, I basically cut it from the promo trailer and, you know, I put the caption on there, something along the lines of, you know, um, Danny can go sit somewhere or come into this coming to Zach's house with this crap I forgot what the caption was but it got a decent amount of traction on Twitter and Instagram so I just wanted to chime in uh, even the video I did on the subject you know will Danny convince Zach that he's the father of Karen's uh, child it's the fact that a lot of people were like well Jeremy you, we don't know yet if Danny is speaking about Karen's child or if Zach reveals, hey, I got arrested because of this other chick. That's possible. I cannot recall off the top of my head if um, Karen brought it to Danny's attention that Zach got arrested. I believe that she told... Um, no, actually, she didn't know. She didn't know that Zach was arrested because she was standing outside of the house waiting for Zach to come out. Fatima came out. She knew he was arrested, told Karen that he wasn't there. So she went to Andy's about the whole, this woman keeps showing up at the salon. He probably in some legal problems. Yeah, so she doesn't know about Zach being arrested. So by extension, I don't think that Danny knows about the arrest. I know Karen found out from Pam that Zach got arrested, um, but Danny doesn't know he got arrested. So as a result, I don't think that Zach is going to tell Danny about the Heather Lee Jennings baby because he has no reason to. To my knowledge, he has no reason to. Now, unless these two are literally catching up and just talking about everything, because this is the first time Zach and Danny have been together since uh, Karen and Zach were at Danny's place because she wanted to, quote-unquote, get closure and move on, which led to a whole bunch of nothing. So I wonder if they're going to catch up on, like, oh, yeah, this is my new crib, and, like, how does Danny know where Zach lives? Some people are like... Well, maybe Preston tells Danny where Zach lives, which I don't think makes any sense. And I don't see why he would even do that. Because if Preston did, I would be a bit pissed off if he did that. So, I don't know. I mean, maybe Danny calls Zach. Hey, me and you need to talk. It's been a while. And if uh, Zach gave Danny the address, okay, so be it. I mean, but remember, Andy rolled up into the place. Preston obviously got the address from Zach because he came over with the purpose to help him move. But when it comes to Karen, that was my biggest gripe at the beginning of season four. You know, after Jenna was in the salon looking for Zach, she just randomly goes over to his property and it's like, how the hell does she know where Zach lives? So it's just one of those things where if you ask me, I don't think that when Danny says, I think it's yours, Zach, and I think you know it's yours too. I think she's talking about Karen. A lot of people saying the same thing. Shut the hell up. Take a seat, Danny. You need to figure out things with Preston as opposed to, you know, giving your two cents about, you know, the Karen thing. And other people are like, well, I, yeah, I don't like the fact that Danny's doing this, but she's only having her friends back. And keep in mind that Danny, while her, you know, advice sometimes might seem divisive and whatnot, and she acts a certain kind of way, not really practicing what she preaches, more often than not, she is the one that talks sense into people. I mean, she's had Zach's back as much as she's had Karen's back in the show from time to time. Other times, yeah, she does run her mouth because I really didn't like the whole thing with her kicking Zach out of her apartment that he paid rent on too so he could stay there because of the whole, oh, well, you slept with Karen and then you're messing around with Fatima too. Get out, Zach. And I'm like, what the hell? So, I mean, not to mention she was the one that blabbed about it and Danny was like, come on, Danny. No, no, no. I want to call it out now. I was like, well, it's not your place to call it out, Danny. So, I think that... um. Yeah, she might be having Karen's back, but remember a few things now. She was the first one. She was the only sister to ask Karen the questions we as fans were like, are you sure it's Zach's? Were you with anybody else? That kind of stuff. Danny was in attendance when Fatima was in the penthouse. The fact that 
Fatimo made it clear she wants a DNA test. It's just like, so why is Danny saying, I think it's yours, Zach, and I think you know it's yours too. But you don't know the full story, Danny. So, no, I don't think Danny is talking about the Heather Lee Jennings situation unless Zach brings it up in conversation. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. And like I said before, I don't like to be harsh on an episode before it airs, but more often than not, whenever a promo, let's just talk specifically Danny here, whenever a promo has a scene that has me going all oh, snap, I have a feeling I'm not going to like Danny in this episode. Nine times out of ten, I wind up not liking Danny in the episode. So, let's talk about it more in the comment section below. I appreciate the support on the channel. Like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.